the truth about carbohydrates in health, disease, and weight gain. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, many popular diet books warn about the dangers of eating carbohydrate foods. Carbs have become a, a bad word, and they get implicated as a main cause of obesity and cancer. And, you know, many, many popular books on health sort of, you know, give you this storyline encouraging you to remove all white bread and all white rice and all pasta and all potatoes and even any gluten containing carbohydrate is now out and elim eliminate all refined sugars and I'll tell you the truth that when you take this type of approach it's so restrictive and so unrealistic that eventually people cannot really stick to it not lifelong and so they feel that eating a healthy diet or following a healthy plan is too difficult and so they just give up and they blow the whole campaign. So what is the truth about carbohydrates and health and disease and weight gain and weight problems? Well, you know, many carbohydrates actually contain nutrients that protect against cancer and heart disease. So there's some carbohydrates you should be eating every single day because they're full of protective nutrients. The other thing is this, the more active you are, the more carbohydrates your body actually needs to replenish the carbohydrate fuel tank in your muscles so you have the energy to be active again the next day. Otherwise, you'll become depleted and fatigued and you can't continue. And if you try to restrict all the really bad carbs, and we know what they are, if you try to take them all out of your diet, it'll lead to a revolution. Eventually, people can't take it anymore and they start cheating like crazy. People need to have a bit of a treat and it's not unrealistic for them to be able to have a treat. Uh, and so that they can stay with a, a program overall that's working for them and gives them a bit of an outlet as well. So carbs should really be viewed in the following way. There are really five categories of carbohydrate foods and you need to eat them in the right proportions. And it's really easy to do and it's very easy to track. Here's how it works. 40 to 45 percent of all the carbs you eat should come from what I call category one carbs. These are the excellent carbs. They contain nutrients that reduce your risk of cancer and heart disease and don't cause a big spike in your blood sugar. Another 20 to 25 percent of your carbs should come from category two carbs. They also have protective nutrients that reduce the risk of cancer and heart disease, but they're a little bit, they're a bit more sugary. These would be sweeter fruits and vegetables as an example. Another 20 to 25 percent of your carbs each day can come from category three and category four carbs. These are intermediate carbs, you know, the, you know, the bread, the pasta, the rice, the potatoes, they're starchier. So the category three carbs are the starchier ones that have some fiber and the starchier and the category four carbs are the starchy ones that don't have as much fiber, they would have less fiber. And then 10 percent of all the carbs you have each day can actually come from bad carbohydrates. These are more refined carbohydrates that are found in foods that you would consider to be sort of a treat or a dessert. Now, I've actually used this proportion program from the excellent carbs to the bad carbs as I just explained it successfully with myself and with hundreds of patients. And here's what the results are. People's body fat goes down, they get to their ideal body weight. Their, pl their blood sugar drops into the ideal range. And I'll tell you what that is. It's below five millimoles per liter or below 90 milligrams per deciliter. It happens consistently when people follow my program. Also, it lowers their triglycerides into th the ideal range, below 1.5 millimoles per liter, and they have less inflammation in their body. They feel better. So what I want you to do to understand carbohydrates properly is click on the link below and download my chapter on this subject from my book, The Machino Optimal Living Program, Seven Steps to a Healthy, Fit, Age-Resistant Body. The download is free, explains all the details and how to apply it to everyday life. So I would strongly encourage you to read this chapter. This is chapter one of the book. The download is free. It'll explain to you how, how to use carbs in a way that will reduce your risk of cancer and diabetes and heart disease and Alzheimer's disease and help you maintain and achieve an ideal body weight. So click on the link below and download the chapter and please read it all the way through. I think it'll help to give you clarification on this thing. Open up the window so you don't feel so restricted. Something you can follow for a lifetime and have great success with. Now, machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, resources, and videos I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. 
all my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references. So you'll see I'm only giving you evidence-based information on any topic that you're looking for. So you should use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.